When Thomas the Tank Engine was given his own branch line, there was only Edward who would do the shunting for the big engines. Edward liked shunting and playing with trucks, but the others would not help him. They said that shunting was not a job for important tender engines, it was a job for common tank engines. The fat controller was very cross. He kept them in the shed and said they could only come out when they stopped being naughty. Then he sent for Thomas to come and help Edward to run the line for a few days. Henry, James and Gordon were in the shed for several days. They were very miserable and longed to be let out. At last, the fat controller arrived. I hope you are sorry, he said sternly, and understand that you are not so important after all. He told them that he had a surprise for them. We have a new tank engine called Percy. He is a smart little green engine with four wheels. Percy has helped to pull the coaches and Thomas and Edward have worked the main line very nicely while you have been away. But I will let you out now if you promise to be good, he said. Yes sir, said the three engines. We will. That's right, said the fat controller. But please remember that this no shunting nonsense must stop. The fat controller told Thomas, Edward and Percy that they could go and play on the branch line for a few days. They ran off happily to find Annie and Clarabelle at the junction. Annie and Clarabelle were Thomas's two coaches and they were very pleased to see Thomas back again. Edward and Percy played with the trucks. Stop! 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 screamed the trucks as they were pushed into their proper sidings. But the two engines laughed and went on shunting until the trucks were in their right places. Next, Edward took some trucks to the quarry. Percy was left alone, but he didn't mind a bit. He liked watching the trains and being cheeky to the other engines. Hurry, 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 he would call, and they got very cross. After a great deal of shunting on Thomas's branch line, Percy was waiting for the signalman to set the point so that he could get back to the yard. He was eager to work, but he was being rather careless and was not paying attention. Edward had told Percy about the signals on the main line. Be careful on the main line, he warned. Whistle to the signalman to let him know that you are there. But Percy forgot all about Edward's warning. He didn't remember to whistle and the signalman forgot he was there. Percy waited and waited. The points were still against him so he couldn't move. Then he looked along the main line. Peep peep, he whistled in horror. Peep peep, he whistled again, for rushing straight towards him was Gordon with the express. Percy's driver turned on full steam and shouted for Percy to go back. But Percy's wheels wouldn't turn quickly enough and Gordon couldn't stop. Percy waited for the crash. The driver and fireman jumped out. Ooh, groaned Gordon. Get out of my way! Percy opened his eyes. Gordon had stopped with Percy's buffers just a few inches from his own. But Percy began to move. I won't stay here. I'll, I'll run away, he puffed. He went straight through Edward's station and was so frightened that he ran right up Gordon's hill without stopping. After that, he was tired, but he couldn't stop. Percy had no driver to shuttle steam and put on the brakes. I shall have to run till my wheels wear out, panted Percy. Oh dear, oh dear. I want to stop, I want to stop, he puffed. The man in the signal box saw that Percy was in trouble, so he kindly set the points. Percy puffed wearily into a nice empty siding. He was too tired now to care where he went. I want to stop, I want to stop, he puffed. I, I have stopped, I have stopped, he said thankfully. He gasped as he ended up in a big bank of earth. Never mind, Percy, said the workman as they dug him out. You shall have a drink and some coal and then you'll feel better. Gordon had arrived. Well done, Percy. You started so quickly that you stopped a nasty accident. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said Percy. You were clever to stop. Then Gordon helped to pull Percy out from the bank. 
Now Percy helps with the coaches in the yard. He is still cheeky, because he is that sort of engine, but he is always very careful when he goes on the main line. <laughs>